the pulmonary thromboembolism can be prevented by preventing a deep vein thrombosis in your legs so whenever you go for a long journey like a car travel or a, a flight travel or a bus or by road travel uh, it is advisable to uh, take a walk every 30 minutes or so or if you are not able to take a walk you can at least uh, uh, flex and extend your uh, feet like this uh, flex and extend your feet and uh, flex and extend your knees so this is also a, a very good uh, option to prevent formation of clots in your body so next is uh, if you are uh, a patient uh, who underwent surgery for your uh, fractures so in those cases we give uh, some low dose anticoagulant to prevent uh, a formation of blood clot in your veins also in this cancer patients and other high risk patients we give this uh, low dose uh, anticoagulants to prevent formation of anti uh, clots in your legs so what are the special precautions that a, a patient on anticoagulants need to take so a patient on anticoagulants is more prone for bleeding even with a minor injury so because these anticoagulants they will prevent formation of a blood clot in your blood uh, circulation so even with a minor injury the bleeding may not stop so that's why you need to be careful uh, with your day to day activities better uh, wear as much as protective gear as possible like wearing helmets and wearing arm pads and uh, leg like pads uh, while you are riding or uh, if you do uh, if you play any sports and uh, uh using soft bristled uh, toothbrush and uh, avoiding uh, foot injuries by wearing shoes all the time so these are all the special precautions that you need to take if you are on anticoagulants and uh, if you uh, by chance develop any injury and uh, bleeding and it is better to stop the anticoagulation dose uh, after consulting with your uh, physician and uh, immediately you need to consult the nearby doctor and take the necessary advice